You are a coward. And I will say it again. If you want to come and beat me, come and beat me. You are a coward. Any man that beats up a woman is a coward. Hey, you guys, what's up? I just had to come here and say something, honestly. And for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is IJ. And I haven't posted on YouTube for a long time, but I just had to come here and say something, honestly, because this is so painful. A young lady lost her life the other day. And for those of you guys who don't know, I'm going to put her picture up here. She is a Nigerian gospel artist singer. She has sang so many songs that are so emotional that you can listen to and you find yourself being in heaven. You find yourself in the presence of God. That's how connected she is to her songs and to God. And the information that is circulating in social media is that her husband used to beat her up and that might have been the cause of her death. I just really wanted to come here and talk about this because I am from Africa. I'm from Nigeria, from Cameroon as well. That's a story for another day. And I know, I know, I know, I know there are many women that are going through this that are being beaten up by their husbands. Some of us are witnesses to that. We have seen it happen. You have stood by and you watch your father hit your mother many times, not once. If you're an African man and you have been in that situation or you have seen that being done or you grew up in a household where that was being done, Please seek help. If you have not come to a place where you can, positively say, I will never lift up my hand to hit another woman. Then seek help. Because there is a, there is a probability that tomorrow you will do that. If you saw your father doing it, there is a probability that you will do that. Seek help. And if you are a man, if you have ever, even if it's once, or you've even thought about it, to hear a woman, seek help. Because if you did it once, you will do it again. And if you thought about it, you will do it one day. Because you know what? That woman will push your button one day. Not by intention. A woman was given to you to take care of, to nurture, to love, and to cherish. Not for her to be a punching bag. Not for her to be your punching bag. You took her from her father's house. Maybe her father has never even beaten her up before. And you have the audacity, the effrontery to hit her up. You are a coward. And I will say it again. If you want to come and beat me, come and beat me. You are a coward. Any man... That beats up a woman is a coward. You're a coward. And do you know what? The Bible says that he who finds a wife, God, has found a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The moment you start to hit a woman, you take away that favor upon you. And God frowns at you. God frowns at you because you are supposed to be the head of the household just as Christ is for the church. You are supposed to be the one to take care of her, to lead her to the right direction. And then you sit, the woman just opens her mouth. You don't even know how to deal with it. The first thing is for you to lift up your hand and beat a woman. You are a coward. As a matter of fact, you are not a man. And for all the young boys, for you to think about marriage or taking somebody's daughter to get married to, make sure you're matured enough. 
Because marriage is not for young boys. It's not for boys. It's for men. Real men. And that's why I say those men that has ever hit a woman or that beat up their wife, they are not women. They are not women. How will you feel if somebody beat up your own daughter? How will you feel? And you don't just beat her up. You beat her to a point where she gets sick, to a point where she dies. Come on now. I read online that this woman, if she's been invited to a concert, she'll be telling them, please beg my husband, please beg my husband. There was even an article that said that somebody built a studio for her to record music. She never once recorded in that, in that studio because her husband did not approve of it. Why will you be an enemy to your own wife's progress? Why will you be an enemy to your own wife's progress? If she gains, is it not for both of you guys? Why should you come to a place where you're so jealous of your own wife? Somebody that is supposed to be um, one plus one equals to one for you. Come on. What kind of demon that possess you? You need deliverance. You need deliverance. Ladies, if you're in any relationship, that a man has ever tried to do this. Please find the door. It's not worth it. We don't want to mourn another woman because she was beaten up by a man. And I know there are women out there, even the men. I know there are women out there that beat up their men. Stop. There's an information I was running on social media just the other day of how a young girl stabbed a man to, get to, to death. Stabbed my African brother to death. The white girl stabbed a boy to death. So there's still was like that. It's not like it's only the male. But my African brothers, I say this because I know we have experienced it. I know there is this whole thing of oh, mental health does not exist in Africa, please. Mental health is serious. If you have ever been in any position where you see your father beating up your mother, look for help. Or if you're connected to any guy that beats up his girlfriend or beats up a woman, disengage. Move and tell them to stop. They say that what? He says the people say birds of the same feather flock together. It's just a it's just a matter of time before you start beating up your woman too. Let us say no to violence. Let us say no to beating up women. God may have not given us power to beat back or to fight back. He gave us our mouth. I know women, some of us, we can talk and say some things that will enter the man so deep into his bones that he can even look for God for you. But that is not enough for you men to lift up your hand to beat the woman up. Because if a woman can just open her mouth and you want to beat her up, Jesus Christ, you are a coward. Ladies, if you're in any relationship, being married or not married, if your boyfriend or your husband is beating you up, please find the door and seek help. Let somebody know about it. We don't want to mourn you tomorrow. Do not stay in a marriage or stay in a relationship for the kids. No. If you die tomorrow, the kids will not have you. But if you leave, yes, they may have you. Don't say, I know some of us will go with this mentality in Africa. Oh no, if I divorce, it's like I am the most. No, you cannot stay there and lose your life. You cannot stay there and lose your life, guys. Ladies, you cannot stay there and lose your life. Don't stay there for the kids. The kids will be fine if you leave. The kids will not be fine if you're six foot down. When you die, who is going to take care of them? 
your mother, your sister, your brother, they have their own life to live. This is so painful. Young girls, before you get married, I have a series on my TikTok channel that um, questions to ask before you get married. I'm at question number 20 at this point. So please, if you want to check them out, check them out on TikTok. It's IG Transformation. Make sure you understand and you know somebody. I know you cannot know somebody all completely 100% before you get married to them. But there are some things that you cannot miss. If your boyfriend has ever lifted up his hand and want, just want to hit you and pull back, you guys have to talk about it. You have to discuss it. Let this be the first and the last. Because if he did this, next time he is going to hit you. And if he has ever done it before, he will do it again. So when it comes to matters like this, don't even think twice. Seek help. Seek help. Look for somebody you can talk to. Don't die in your silence. Don't die in misery. Don't die in your pain. I know nowadays when we go to talk to people about our marital issues, they use it against us. It's sad, but I prefer to talk, you laugh at me, than to sit and I die in silence. How many young ladies have, t have killed themselves, have taken their life, and nobody knows what they were going through in their marriage? How many? We can count them. We can't even count them. We don't want to count you. No. We want to see you leave. And for the men, if you're a boy, you're thinking about getting married, make sure you give yourself together. Get yourself together. Marriage is not for boys. It's not for boys. Make sure you train yourself. Make sure you know yourself. Make sure you understand yourself. Make sure you get to a place where you can control yourself. You can control yourself. That if your wife says anything, either just walk away or don't say anything, than to stand there. By the time you know you're hitting her. I have even seen situations where a guy will beat up a woman. Because of another girl. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on now. You cannot even take care of one woman. You're looking for another one. Then the one that you have at home wants to, okay, try to even bring you back on track. You lift up your hand and you beat her because of another woman. And if you're a woman, you sit there, a man is maltreating his wife because of you. You are just as equally as, as, as yoked as him. Because you know what? What goes around comes around. I've said it before. If you're there destroy, de destroying somebody's marriage because you think dating married men is better than dating single girls, wait, your mate is in primary school, counting ABC. They'll be the ones to destroy your marriage. So guys, if you've ever seen your father or your uncle, your brother, your whoever, hit a woman, please seek help. Seek help. Go down on your knees. Tell God, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like my father. I don't want to be like my uncle or my brother. Teach me how to love my wife. Teach me how to respect my wife. Teach me how to cherish my wife. And teach me how to understand my wife. That when she is upset, we can sit and talk about it. I don't have to resort to a point where I have to hit out. That's all I have to say. If you come across this video, please share it. Please like. Please comment. And please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Ladies, please take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself.